Good morning, Phoenix High School, and welcome back to another episode of PHTV. I'm your friendly neighborhood Spider-Man, Dustin Bordon. And I'm Elizabeth Castillo. This is our first episode of PHTV for the month of May. Even crazier, we only have four episodes of PHTV left after today. Watch out, the end of the year is almost here. First off, seniors, if you've turned in your baby pictures, please come pick them up in Mr. Rhodes' room in 206A. If you haven't turned in baby photos, you have one last chance this week. We will allow any seniors to turn in baby photos before Friday, May 11th. Also, please make sure to see Myra Silva in the main office for any changes on graduation presenter. Seniors need to pay off all fees before May 25th. This is the last day you can pay off fees and still walk in graduation. See Ms. Ingle in the office for more questions about fees. Seniors, si han entregado fotos de bebé, por favor vayan a recogerlas en la habitación N206A del señor Rhodes. Además, asegúrase de ver a Myra Silva en la oficina principal para cualquier cambio en tu presentador de graduación. Y también deben de pagar todas las tarifas antes del 25 de mayo. Este es el último día en que pueden pagarlos o si no, no van a poder caminar en la graduación. Vea a la señora Engo en la oficina para más preguntas sobre los pagos. Also, for seniors, the opportunity to participate in the graduate walk is coming up. This is when the seniors wear their caps and gown and walk through the halls of the elementary schools and the middle mm -hmm. school while the students are cheering for them. This will take place on Monday, June 4th, during the last part of second period and all of the advisory period. This is voluntary and students who are on track to graduate will be eligible to participate. If students are interested, they need to let their advisors teachers know today, May 7th, so right now. There will also be a sign-up sheet at the front office. También para los seniors, se acerca la oportunidad de participar en la graduate walk. Esto es cuando los seniors usan sus gorras y vestidos para caminar por los pasillos de las escuelas primarias y secundarias. Esto va a ser en el lunes 4 de junio, durante la última parte del segundo periodo y todo el periodo de asesoramiento. Esto es voluntario y los estudiantes que están en camino de graduarse serán elegibles para participar. Si los estudiantes están interesados, deben, deben dejar que el maestro asesor lo sepa hoy. También habrá una hoja de inscripción en la oficina principal. Lastly, for seniors, reminder, there is no credit retrieval for quarter four grades if you plan on walking at graduation. The credit retrieval deadline in order to walk is Monday, June 4th at 4 o'clock. This next announcement is for all you students at Phoenix High School. Your principal, Don Rugraff, wants you involved in the planning of the new high school being built in the next few years. Mr. Rugraff is looking for students willing to provide feedback to the ORW architects during a student workshop on May 14th. If you are interested in providing feedback and input on the new school, please come see Mr. Akil at the attendance window. This opportunity is for all students in all grades levels 9 through 12. Students, Mother's Day is coming up this weekend. We want to make sure you remember the important woman in your life that helped you get where you are today. PHTV's own Katie Baker and Randy Mick made a segment to make sure you remember your mom this Sunday Let's roll it. Mother's Day. What does Mother's Day mean to you? Mother's Day to me is one of the most important holidays. My mother never really lets any of us celebrate her and it's one of the few days where we get to make sure that she is celebrated and she feels important. Um, Mother's Day means I get to hang out with my daughters. I love hanging out with them and we usually go on a hike. What is your favorite thing about being a mom? <laughs> Derek will kill me, but I like cuddles. So he likes to cuddle with me, and that's just a moment that I like. And uh, we always say hugs are for free, so I like getting good hugs. And watching him you know, try new things and be successful is fun. Like going and supporting him at sports, I like that. So My favorite thing about being a mom is the fact that I get to see my kids grow and just turn into these amazing little human beings and knowing that I had a part in that. What is your favorite Mother's Day memory? 
last year when I woke up and my kids tried to make me um, breakfast. And for those of you that don't know, at the time my son was four and my daughter had just turned seven. And they they tried so hard and put together this like little burnt toast mix and they tried to make a smoothie for me. And it was just, it was so cute because they put so much effort into it and they made me these cute little cards that I still have telling me that they love me and it just is a nice reminder. I actually don't have one because my son doesn't celebrate Mother's Day, okay, which is something he needs to perfect as he gets older. He has a challenge with celebrating birthdays as well, but he did step it up on the last birthday. So I have yet to reap any benefits of Mother's Day. So if you see him, tell him I said that. Happy Mother's Day to all the moms out there. Turning our attention now to clubs and activity news. If you missed the spring musical, Thoroughly Modern Millie, last week, then you're in luck. The play will be running for one more week in the Rose Street Theater. Showtimes will be at 7 p.m. this Thursday through Sunday, Saturday, and 1 p.m. on Sunday. Be sure to check out Thoroughly Modern Millie. PHS Treble Choir will be in Barton on a two-day tour to P-Town, which is Portland, on May 11th and 12th this Friday and Saturday, where they will sing at Mary Hurst University and compete at Glass. Stone High School. Good luck, Phoenix High Treble Choir. In news from our leadership class, students who are interested in running for ASB president, vice president, treasurer, or secretary need to come see Miss Robin in room N412 this week. This is the last week to talk to Miss Robin in room N412 if you want to run for ASB office. And let us know. En las noticias de nuestra clase de liderazgo, los estudiantes que estén interesados en ser presidente, vicepresidente, tesorero o secretario de ASB deben visitar a la señora Robin en la sala N412 esta semana. Esta es la última semana para hablar con la señora Robin en la sala N412 si desea estar en la oficina de ASB. Also, remember this Friday to wear school colors and earn spirit points. Currently, the freshmen lead in spirit points and are on track for the spirit day at the end of the year. Sounds to me like the sophomores, juniors, and seniors need to wear some school colors this Friday. Let's go, guys. This next announce announcement is for any student who has taken e-care and has an expired first aid or CPR card or one that will soon expire. Ms. Campbell is holding a renewal class after school on Thursday, May 17th, in her classroom. If you have after school commitments, please make arrangements with your coach or instructors ahead of time. As you will miss part of practice, if you plan on attending this renewal course, please see Ms. Campbell to sign up. In FFA news, FFA officer elections will be on Wednesday, May 9th at lunch. Come vote for the new officer team for next year. Food will be provided. Also from FFA, the FFA Mother's Day plant sale will begin this Friday, May 11th, starting at 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. And Saturday, May 12th, 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. To give you a preview of all the amazing floriculture you can buy at this event, PHTV's own Taylor Roy and Elizabeth Castillo made a segment. Let's take a look. like to invite you to our Phoenix FFA Mother's Day plant sale. It's coming up on May 11th and 12th. Uh, it's a great chance to buy something nice for your mom or somebody that likes flowers. Uh, on May 11th, we are open from 9 to 5, and then on May 12th, which is a Saturday, we're open from 10 to 4. Everything that's grown in our greenhouse is made by students, um, so it's a great chance to come and support students that have been working so hard. And then also Friday after school is the garden party. So it's a fun chance to get some free food, hang out, and then also come and buy some plants from us. So we hope to see you guys May 11th and 12th. Thank you. Turning now to news from our future planning center. Don't forget the Alexandria Hanscom 
Memorial Scholarship is now available to be picked up in the Future Planning Center. The following is the criteria to qualify. Applicants must be a senior grade level female student in good standing at Phoenix High School who has participated as a three-sport athlete for four years. You must exemplify sportsmanship character, uh, including attitude towards team members, coaches, equipment, officials, and spectators. Applicant must have a minimum cumulative ah, high school grade point average through the end of the current third quarter of 3.5. Applicants must plan to enroll in an institute of higher learning within eight months of graduation from Phoenix High School. Such institutions include not only colleges and universities, but also technical and vocational schools and institutes. Also from the Future Planning Center, are you interested in earning free money for college, traveling across the country, learning a trade, or getting your GED? These are all opportunities that are available through AmeriCorps. AmeriCorps offers all of these benefits through programs that are 6 to 11 months in length that give you unique experiences. If you want to learn more, come to the AmeriCorps workshop on Thursday, May 17th during fourth period in the library. Please sign up in the Future Planning Center. Okay, turning now to sports news. In softball action, our Lady Pirates took on Hidden Battling this week and was able to shoot and was able to secure one victory in the three games. This week, softball will be taking on Klamath Union in their final regular season series of the year. Be sure to make your way out to Culverfield this Saturday and catch the final doubleheader of the year. In baseball action, our Pirates baseball team also took on Hidden Valley this past week and won the series, winning two of the three games. <clears throat> Sorry. This week, Phoenix will play their last regular season series of the season against Klamath Union. Be sure to make your way out to Culverfield this Saturday to catch their doubleheader. In girls tennis news, our Lady Pirates tennis team took on Hidden Valley a week ago Tuesday and played very hard with lots of spirit. In doubles action, Ariana Sandoval and Marlene Quintero of Phoenix defeated Erica Simpson and Corrine Porter by a score of 9-7. Alejandra Camacho and Amna Horain of Phoenix defeated Scarlin Greeter and Ariana Aras by a score of 8-2. Finally, Miranda Perez of Phoenix defeated Bree Sa Sanders eight, uh, of a score of 8-2. Uh, so I apologize. I'm going to mess up all of these names, but we're going to get through this. All right. On Tuesday last week, the girls then took on Mazama in their final regular season match of the season. Bella Hoy of Phoenix defeated Paula Ferguson by a score of 6-2 and 6-1. In doubles action that day, Ariana Sandoval and Marlon uh, Quintero is that right? okay. of Phoenix defeated my, uh, Sarah. Ramirez and Heidi Ramirez by a score of 7 to 6 and 6 to 0. Finally, Alejandra Camacho of Phoenix defeated Sam Resign by a score of 8 to 1. And Ama Horan of Phoenix defeated Alexa Harfram by a score of 8 to 4. Sorry. In track and field news, the track team will be competing this week at the district meet. Be sure to wish the track team luck as they finish their season and prepare for state. Mm. Wrapping up sports action now with golf news. As you watch this episode, the boys and girls golf team are competing at their district meet. Good luck to the golf teams. As we talk about the golf team, PHTV's own Corey Roaming and James Roberts made a segment to celebrate both our boys and girls golf, golf teams. Let's check it out. Congratulations to Matt Sourman, Tyler Hansen, Hamden Chose, Kaylin Peterson, Elijah Galliato, Austin Fung, Casa McKeel, Mauro Reyes.
great season, boys golf. That's what I thought you said. Now let me offer this as a rebuttal. Marcella Powers, Jasmine Christian, Madison Colbert, Kaya Eikenberry, Isabella Lopez, Giselle Perez, Sadie Prey, Willow Taos. Okay, so that sums up our show for today. Only thing left is trivia. Last week's question was, when is opening night of the spring musical Thoroughly Modern Millie? And the winner is... May 4th by Kelly McLeod. Congratulations, see Mr. Rhodes after advisory to get your Dutch Bros gift card. This week's trivia question is, when is Campbell CPR card renewal training? Make sure to write your answer on a piece of paper, along with your name and your advisor's name, and place it in the envelope on Mr. Rhodes' door. Maybe next week, you will win the Dutch Bros gift card. La pregunta de trivia de esta semana es, ¿cuándo es el día que pueden renovar las tarjetas de CPR con la señora Campbell? Asegúrase de escribir su respuesta en un pedazo de papel junto con su nombre y el nombre de su asesor. Y ponlo en el sobre que está en la puerta del señor Rhodes. Tal vez la próxima semana tú te puedes ganar una tarjeta de regalo de Dutch Bros. Be sure to stick around for the Pledge of Allegiance following our show. And as always, check out our online platform, phtvnews.com. Have a great week, Phoenix High School. This has been your new, your school. Your people and, and your, your news. news.